What's good, everybody, man? What's going on? It's your boy Vlogging with Greg, and I'm back with another reaction video, man. So, we got Rodney Carrington, man. Um, this one is aerobics with Rodney. <laughs> yeah, this should be good, man. So, we're going to go ahead on and jump into it, man. Let's get it. Oh, hell. I got a buddy back home. He sells caskets. He goes in that place at night. I was with him. It's way out in the damn country by an old cemetery. Big building full of caskets. He said, come on, come on in. <laughs> Fuck you! What? Crazy? I don't, I can't handle anything having to do with death or darkness. It scares the shit out of me. I can't even go to a funeral when the casket's open. I always see him move. You know. For some reason, laying there, caskets open, I can't go. Somebody said, he looks natural, doesn't he? Woo, shit. That son of a bitch ain't dead yet. <laughs> Men won't admit they get scared, but I got I do. I was in bed with my wife the other night. She said, you hear that? I sure did. Go see what it is. <laughs> Take the gun. Oh, shit, leave the gun. He might get past you. <laughs> I don't want that son of a bitch getting me. <laughs> oh. Getting me like he's gonna break in the house and go, get it, get it. <laughs> <laughs> Hold me down, tickle the shit out of me. <laughs> Cops show up, what happened? He tickled me. I peed my pants. He pulled my underwear up my butt and left. <laughs> you catch that bastard, he's dangerous. Oh, boy. I was home last week for about four days. I was sitting in my easy chair one night naked playing with myself because I'm real good at it. Yo, bro. And, and, and I love how he just tried to squeeze that in there real fast, like how fast he said that. Like, like nobody wasn't going to catch on what he said. I like that. I was home last week for about four days. I was sitting in my easy chair one night naked playing with myself because I'm real good at it. <laughs> bro. I was watching that Sports Illustrated swimsuit tape. You know where them girls run down the beach half naked? I love that. I got to thinking, I got to get my ass in some shape. I don't want to run into one of them supermodels. I won't have a chance. And I run into a lot of them. <laughs> Believe that, I got a 10-inch dick. Let's face it, I ain't got a 10-inch dick. If I did, I'd have it out showing it to you right now. <laughs> Might even be in the movies. <laughs> Them real good movies. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> it's always that ugly son bitch in seventh grade. I'll never forget him. Robert Mule Dick Dent. <laughs> My God, that boy had a shovel in his pants. Ain't shit yet. He come walking in that shower, a P.E. shower. He looked like Snuffleupagus. <laughs> Swinging a trunk. Jesus Christ, Robert, you're in a polka now. <laughs> You big dick bastard, can't you wait for everybody else to shower? <laughs> you just look at an ugly son of a bitch like that and go, my lord, there goes a good waste of dick right there. Wow. What is that ugly son of a bitch gonna do with something like that? Scare him off before they see it. That's what he's gonna do. <laughs> Come back, you ain't seen my dick yet. <laughs> Why can't I have a dick like that? You can get a heart and a liver. Why can't you get a dick? <laughs> so if you could, you'd be hitting your big dick buddies up, wouldn't you? <laughs> Hey, Robert, come here, I need to talk to you. Hey, listen, if you die before I do, can I have your dick? Wow. Boy, I could use your dick like yours. <laughs> you got a big dick, and no, I like it. I don't like it like that, you son of a bitch. <laughs> you know you got a little dick when a woman grabs it and says, it's cute. Cute? Like it's got a little smiley face on the end of it. I don't want a cute dick, I want a big scary dick. <laughs> When it comes out growling, rah, a dick. <laughs> he said, you know, <laughs> when a woman grabs it and says it's cute. Yeah, no, no comment. When it comes out growling, rah, no comment. A dick with teeth. Rah, rah. What happened? My dick made me. Look at that. <laughs> Uh. 
Maybe I'm sharing too much with you people. <laughs> okay. Wow, oh, man. So I thought, well, hell, I'll go jogging. That's how I'll get my ass in some shape. So I pulled out the warm-ups Grandma bought me for Christmas about eight years ago. Still had the tags on them. Little tight. Looked like I'd been kicked in the crotch by a buffalo. <laughs> you know where your nuts overlap the same? Not a real pretty picture. No. It's not. I'm thinking, hell, who's going to see me? It's dark out there. <laughs> and like I'm going to be jogging down a dark road. Some old boy drives by. His headlights hit me. He swerves off the road, hits your tree, and goes, shit, did you see that? That boy's nuts were overlapping the scene. <laughs> He's scaring the kids. Get down, kids. Oh, boy. It's usually women you see like that. I'm telling you the damn truth. Women. Yeah. Laundromat. <laughs> My Lord, lady, you could pick up an apple with that damn thing. <laughs> Here's $20. Buy some bigger pants, for God's sake. <laughs> I'm over here trying to drink a Coke and eat some corn nuts. I can't wow. even wait for my clothes to dry. You're making me sick. Out. Belt it out, lady. Yo. Laugh it up. If you don't, you'll fart and we'll smell it. <laughs> She's holding it in up here. <laughs> so 10.30 at night, I walk to the door. I'm in my warm-ups and my boots. My wife said, where are you going? I said, jogging. <laughs> she fell on the floor laughing, Peter pants. <laughs> I thought, to hell with you. So I jogged. I'm, I'm, I'm really, really trying to imagine it. A jump, what do you say? Hold up. And boot. <laughs> My wife said, where are you going? So 10.30 at night, I walk to the door, and I'm warm-ups and my boots. Warm-ups and boots. <laughs> Okay, I've seen that before, but to go jogging, though? My wife said, where are you going? I said, jogging. <laughs> she fell on the floor laughing, peed her pants. <laughs> I thought, to hell with you. So I jogged off into the night. <laughs> I come across a cemetery we live out there by. I thought, I'm going to jog off in there. That will be peaceful. Peaceful jog through a dark cemetery, 1030 at night. <laughs> Heard some rustling in the leaves, turned into a raging fucking sprint back to the house. <laughs> I hurled a 12-foot fence and killed a grizzly bear on the way home. <laughs> and did that all that in about 10 minutes. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, <laughs> Come busting through the door, she's still on the floor laughing. <laughs> it ain't funny. I could have been killed out there. Well, hell, I'll just do Jane Fonda in the living room from now on. Even that's hard. Have you seen that video dancing around them leotards? You can't do them exercises with a heart on. I tried like hell. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Jesus, Jane, put on a coat, for God's sake. <laughs> I talk a lot of dirty shit, don't I? That's all I think about. My mind's filled with filth. I'm noticing it. I'm gone all the time. I don't see my wife. Forty weeks. I'm a horny son of a bitch. Stay that way. I got a little chub working right now. My wife does. She misses it, too. She called me the other about six weeks ago, crying. I miss you and I need it. Well, I need it too, but it don't reach that far. <laughs> I wish it did. If I could take it off, put it on a plane, I'd send it to you. Wouldn't that be funny? Little wiener sitting up there in first class. <laughs> How you doing? Pretty good. <laughs> Do you like some nuts? I already got some. <laughs> Oh my so God. So I bought her a little fake wiener to play with while I was gone, which was a huge mistake because I don't even see her when I'm home now. Oh, yeah. She's locked up in the bedrooms. I like somebody's landscaping in there. <laughs> Honey, are you all right? Yeah, my neck hurts. <laughs> Your neck's been hurting an awful lot lately. The most embarrassing thing you'll ever have to shop for as a man as long as you live. I never thought in a million years to ever say, I'm gonna go look for a weenie, I'll be back. <laughs> oh, Walked in this place, right. Christie's toy box, Tulsa, Oklahoma. <clears throat> I was dressed in an overcoat, fake beard, and mustache. <laughs> <laughs> Figure if I'm gonna mingle with these perverts, better look like one. <laughs> oh, fuck, I'm a pervert. Took the coat off, stood there naked. 
The guy walked up to me and said, can I help you? I said, my wife needs a weenie. <laughs> he said, I can see that. So I slapped the shit out of him. <laughs> He said, what do you think about that begging up there at the top on the shelf there? I said, holy shit, that's a big son of a bitch. I don't want to compete with that damn thing. <laughs> I wanted her to leave me up by that. <laughs> there ought to be a law where they don't make them things over four or five inches long. That humming shit, we can't compete. You can't put a motor in your wiener to an the doctor. It can't be done. <laughs> he put one off the shelf. He said, this one looks real and it feels real. Touch it. <laughs> <laughs> uh -uh. He said, this is a popular model. I said, I ain't buying a car, jackass. Just need a winner. <laughs> <laughs> he convinced me that was the one, and I went to pay for it. He said, that'll be $57 and some change. I said, that better be some damn good winnie. <laughs> Better make sure you got enough money, too. You think being at the grocery store and had to put back beans is embarrassing. <laughs> you got to put back a wiener, you're going to wish you had a hole to crawl off into it. People standing behind you. Pay for your weenie, get the hell out of here. Don't put it on your charge, they'll call you. Did you buy a weenie? <laughs> you pay cash, you burn the receipt, and take the back roads home. Oh, Not my dumb ass, I took the interstate. Got pulled over. Let me see your license and what's in that sack. I'm not sure I stole this truck. <laughs> it ain't mine. It ain't mine. Oh, bro. Oh, my God, bro. That dude, mine is full of filth, man. Oh, man. I, I, I mean, when I read the title of Robics with Rodney, I... I knew it was gonna be crazy, but I didn't know it was gonna be that filthy. Bro, my man, he damn near started off with it like that, bro. Almost started off like that with it, man, but I, hilarious. I have to admit, it, it was funny as hell, bro. It, it really was, man. Even though it was dirty, but it still was good, man. Definitely, man. So. Y'all go ahead on and hit that like button, man. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. You already know who it is. It's your boy Vlogging with Greg, baby. Out, man.